Welcome to this session. In this session, we are going to learn what are the advantages of using Redis. Let's get started. Here are some of the major features of Redis. We will look into this one by one. Let us go to the performance and speed of Redis. And Redis is super fast. This is one of the major features of Redis. But how fast exactly? Let us go to this link. I am going to my browser and let me type Redis and I'm going to redis.io here let me go to documentation and if you go down you will find a link for benchmark let us go here and here you will find all the stats for performance and speed of redis if you go down you have some graphs and here are some other stats and we can see the performance of redis can go up to 120,000 requests per second and even more so redis is really really fast and this is one of the major features of using redis let us look at how simple and flexible redis can be so redis is a no sql data store there is no need of defining any structures like tables rows or columns and there is no need of any statements like insert select update and delete the data read and write in redis is very very simple and straightforward and we do this through commands how durable is Redis? So in Redis, although it works on data in the memory, in the cache, but it has the option to write on the disk and this option is configurable and we can use Redis as a caching system or as a full-fledged database. Let us look at the language and platform support. Here is a link. Let us go to our browser and again, let us go to this clients link. And here you can find an entire list of languages and clients supported by Redis. Let us go and look at the compatibility. So one of the major use of Redis can be, it can be used along with your existing database and it can be used as a second database to make your queries and transactions faster. Let us look at an example. This is a very conventional system where all your requests go to your main database and your database fetches the response from the disk and then services the request. Now here comes Redis. In your system, the requests that need to be serviced very, very fast and are very, very frequent can be put in the Redis memory and it can be serviced from there and the rest of the data can lie in your main database. So this is a very, very good use case of Redis. So how can Redis scale? So Redis has a very good master-slave replication feature in Redis, you can use different instances of Redis and we can make anyone as master and others as slave. And one of the very, very efficient use case can be a master can be used as a write only data store, whereas one of the slaves can be used for read only and the other slave can be used to write the data to the disk asynchronously. So it can increase the performance while the master and one of the slaves are doing read and write, the other slave is writing the data to the disk at the same time. So Redis has a single text file where you can put all your configurations and you can edit all the configurations on a single file. It is single threaded and it also eliminates all the issues of a thread waiting for some other thread, lock wait timeout and similar issues. There is a pipelining feature in Redis where you can cluster multiple commands and send them at once. So it makes Redis even more faster. There are these big names who use Redis. Let us go to our browser and here let us type who uses Redis. Let us go here and here you can see these are some major names who are using Redis but also they have given these two links. If you go here, so here we have these popular sites who are using Redis and here you can see there is this comparison of various databases and NoSQL data stores and you can see Redis is here. There is much much more to Redis. You can go to redis.io and there is a full and very very intuitive documentation on Redis. In the next session we are going to install Redis on Windows, Mac and Linux.